Hi, DE Psych. Welcome to quarantine week two. Um, so I'm going to give a little description about what's going on for this Wednesday's post, where to find things and what to do. These videos are super important um, because they're going to help you figure out some things that I can't necessarily answer for all 72 of you guys individually on a text to text, email to email basis. So please watch these videos in their entirety. All right, let's go ahead and start off. So quarantine week two, um, as it says, please watch the videos. Um, I will not entertain any questions that if it's the answers on the video, I'm just going to say watch the video, please. Um, reason being is that on a daily basis, I was getting last week about 15 to 20 emails um, about stuff that I had said on the video or that was in the directions. And um, it's just a lot of time to write up these lessons and to grade in addition to trying to answer all of these emails coming in when the answers are right here. So let's go in. Um, first of all, we have our participation discussion, which I hope you guys will enjoy today um, for this week. So these are our participation points since we're not doing bell ringer points anymore. You do have to do this. Some of you may have noticed you got a zero last week because you didn't participate. And of course that, if you add it up over time is gonna hurt your grade. A um, Couple of those that you missed, if you missed it last week, that's not going to kill you. Uh, as you saw, I added in participation points. And so your grade is a little bit inflated right now because you do have a lot of extra credit that I've put in. All right, Wednesday, let's go here. Um, we're starting thinking language and intelligence. And if you didn't watch the video from last week, um, you do have a reader's notebook assigned. It is a e reader's notebook. We're no longer writing into our reader's notebooks because we don't know when we're going back and if we're going back. So you are doing a reader's notebook online, okay? I'll talk more about when you submit those, how you're gonna submit those, okay? Uh, when we get towards the end of the unit. So we're looking at first, we're going to start off with thinking, okay? And so we're looking at what does fluid intelligence look like? What specifically are the strategies of human thinking? So that's this our focus this week. Um, with, this week is heavy in work. Friday I'll have a lecture, but that's it. There won't be any work. So this week um, you'll see that the deadlines are Saturday at 11.59 for these projects. Um, and we are going to be doing a project with our group. Yes, our child development project uh, got canceled, but you're still able to work with your group. So let's talk about what's going on here. So this can be a little confusing. This video is super important to watch. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is we have a packet called the To Think Packet. Okay, I'm gonna jump into that packet right now. Um, and it has been modified for the quarantine because normally we would do this in a class time. So here are the directions, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up a conference call day and time with the members of your child development group um, before Saturday at 11.59, because that's when this is due. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use Google Meet to do this. So I've even included the child development project groups um, and who those groups were. I've highlighted the first person as kind of the captain of the group. Um, captains, technically, you're gonna be the ones that should be um, putting together the meet time when it works best for your group to meet, okay? Um, so this little sheet tells you who's in your group, and then I've highlighted the first person on the list as the captain of the group. So captains of the group, what you wanna do is just go into your Google Mail if you know, have no idea to do how to do a Google Meet, you could do FaceTime if you wanted to, if that's something you're more comfortable with. You don't have to use Google Meet, but Google Meet's easy because everybody has a school email. So you jump into your email here and you can see my um, computer's pretty slow right now. Um, I'm away from my modem and so it's a little bit of a reach. But what you do is go into your email. You guys will get be able to see my email here. It's all about you guys and talking smack, you know, that type of thing. Jump right here into, um, sorry, there I am. Jump right here into the calendar. And all you would have to do to create a Google Meet is go into that calendar and go to create. Um, once you 
hit create, then you can title your Google Meet, like maybe DE psychology or something like that. And again, mine's acting a little slow um, because my Wi-Fi is not exactly the most wonderful. Um, so I go into this create situation and we may have to come back to this because it's taking a bit to load. Um, but what you'll see that there's a menu and in that menu, I can add a title. I could call this DE something or another, you know, DE psych meet or to think meeting. I set the time for when the meeting's going to be, okay, right in here. I would say you probably are gonna need a solid hour and a half. It would be like a block day for us. And then when I go right here to add rooms and location, um, I would go here to conferencing, okay, and do a join hangouts right there. Okay, so I just hit that and that's it. And then I'm gonna add my guests. So whoever's on my team. So let's say I've got Shane. Okay, and if I just start typing Shane's name, Shane's name comes up. Um, let's say that I have Brooke in my group. And let's say I have Jimena. Make sure that you have the right people um, <laughs> and that you're doing their e schools email okay so then i would hit save and once i hit save then it'll give me the option to send them an email to invite them with the link so that we can meet up on that specific date and time that we've decided okay so i'm going to discard that because that's not really happening for us uh that meeting so i go into um once i've set up my meeting so that's direction number one and you can see it's right here um then you're going to need to gather two pieces of paper. One piece of paper cut in half is fine. You're going to do the complete on your own directions before you do the actual Google Meet, okay? Um, so you're, this is where your half sheet of papers are going to come in into play. And anything that says do on your own, you need to do on your own before you actually get into your Google Meet, okay? Uh, once you've done the on your own, then as a group, you will do the in your group conference call directions, okay? Now, as a group, when you do the in the group conference call, you decide amongst your group members who is going to actually write down your answers in the document, okay? Okay, who's going to do that? Because you only need one document per group. I just gotta make sure that I include everybody's name in this document right here, okay? That everybody that participated, all right? If somebody is unable to participate, that's kind of bad because this is an assignment that is a group assignment, all right? Trying to maintain normalcy, have you guys doing some interactions here, that's important for our own psyches. So you'll submit one paper, for the entire group. Do you have to submit your, your pictures that you drew, things like that? No, follow the directions. The only piece of paper that you want to keep, as it says in the directions here, is keep this paper with your reunion and passing on letters. We will be putting this one in your envelope. Just that one, that's it. So please don't email me saying, hey, do you want copies of our pictures? No, I don't, I want your group answers that's it okay your copy of your pictures are for you to do your group answers that's all all right so that's the first activity the second activity which i would imagine if everybody has done their job before the conference call this will take you guys probably a total of maybe 20 minutes to do okay follow the directions closely that's all i gotta say um then what you want to do is stay on your conference call, okay? Because what you guys are going to do is you're going to do some brain teasers together. So the brain teasers are for the next part of our lesson. And I had thought I pulled this up, but sometimes, again, these computers are super fun right now. Um, so um, you're going to sit in that conference call, continue to conference call, and you're gonna answer the brain teasers that I've given you. These are tough. They're going to be hard. You're gonna work on them together. You're gonna to try and come up with a solution for all 10 brain teasers. 
Now, see where it says solution? Okay. You can't write in this PDF, so I have included a place to submit your solutions. You'll just write down number one. You don't have to write down the problem. Number one, and then what your group answer was. Number two, and what your group answer was. So maybe this person that recorded for your last assignment is doing that again, or maybe switch it up, okay? Um, ignore this technique. That's for later, okay? Now, the thing that I don't want you guys to do is don't call other groups and share your answers. This is going to be one of those extra credit games like we did with the Kohlberg moral development statements that we did. The more groups that get it correct, the less extra credit. The less groups that get it correct, the more extra credit. So you're vying for some extra credit. For, so for those of you that may not have participated in last week's little uh, participation discussion, this is a good chance to make up some points. All right. Um, and maybe your test that you got back. I put feedback on every one of your tests. Maybe your tests, you need to recuperate some points. All right, so this is your chance. So don't share your answers amongst groups. One group, one paper, one answer, okay? So you do that for all 10. Ignore the technique, all right? Ignore that for right now. So that's what you're doing for this lesson. This is all due the to think packet for each group, one paper per group, the bell ringer answers per group, one paper per group is due on Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Now, what if you have people that are in different classes in different groups? Just submit one paper, somebody from whatever class, say first hour person submits to first hour, that's fine. Seventh hour people, you don't submit as long as your name is on the paper. So it might be helpful to me, especially if you have a duplicate kind of name, to put down what hour or your last names would be helpful, okay? Um, I think that's about it. And again, I can't emphasize one paper per group. Um, if you have questions, email me. If it's not in this video, then I'm gonna say, answer your questions. If it's in this video, I'm gonna say, watch the video. Um, otherwise, guys, I was super proud of your tests. Those were fun to grade. Um, some pretty inventive things. Hopefully the feedback is good because honestly, I'm probably gonna do the similar type of situation for our next test. Um, I think that did a good job of assessing your abilities and um, hopefully we get stronger and stronger in synthesizing this information. So welcome to Thinking Language and Intelligence Unit. Um, I hope you'll have fun. We will be taking the IQ test in this unit. That should be interesting. Um, but yeah, so guys, it's been a pleasure. And um, like I said, hopefully I will, uh, uh, you guys will have fun with this activity. It gives you a chance to get together in a group meet and try and create some normalcy. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and I hope to see you guys all very soon. All right, bye, Rivera out.